Hey everybody, Ronaldo Lofman Gear. First, I know this is gonna be a controversial video. I know your feelings are gonna get hurt. I frankly don't care. Uh, I wanna talk to you a little bit about my experience and then some of the things that I've talked about with other brides and stuff. Now, this is about mixing at weddings and events and all that. And I know this topic has been beaten to death, but hear me out here. Why is it that you can go to a caterer and you expect to taste the food? You go to a cake person, you expect to taste you know, the cake. If you hire a violinist, you want to hear their talent. But DJs, okay, well, here's a photo now. Here's a video of the crowd doing the cha-cha slide. That doesn't say anything, right? And I don't mean just mixing either. If you think this is the mixing threat, but videos of them emceeing, of them interacting with the crowd, background planning, none of y'all do that. You can tell me you do it, but you don't. Because I sit there and I watch gig logs and they're freaking worthless, right? There's a few people out there, Rick Webb, for example, that actually shows videos of him mixing. And while he's, you know, got these videos made for other DJs, I know because of talking to him, that he also has stuff specifically for his clients, which is what I have as well, and so do a few others, but not a lot of you. I'll go as far as to say that 99% of the DJs out there have no videos of themselves in action, and there's probably a good reason why. Maybe it's because y'all gotta step up your game. But, it will be out for a second. I can right now, I, I, I post it on, on my Facebook, right? Why is it that DJs don't ever post mixes of themselves at events? You know, anybody can sit there and rehearse the same set 20 million times and then edit it and master it and it sounds great. Now, I wanna hear raw mix. I wanna hear some of those imperfections that everybody has, right? And somebody chimed in, well, I have better things to do like taking care of my client. No, you don't. No, you don't, okay? I mean, I'm sure you're taking care of your client, but that's not an excuse. I'm not buying that. Because all you gotta do is hit record and then when you're done, you just take that clip you edit, you know, if you want to cut out the first part of it and the last part of it or dinner or whatever, and then you upload it to Mixcloud. It takes 10 minutes at the most to do. I don't want to hear that you don't have the time because you're too busy helping clients, but you have time to sit there and argue about this shit on Facebook, okay? So that makes no sense. So then the other is, well, you know, mixing is regional. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. And I don't want to hear radio because you're not a radio DJ. Nobody hired a radio DJ. You know, when you go to a restaurant, you don't ask, can the chef cook? You shouldn't have to ask. Kind of like Gordon Ramsay, you know, he gets mad about people using microwaves. And he said, you know, you shouldn't have to ask, is this food made fresh? That's something that's expected. Well, it's the same thing for us. Are these mixes fresh? Is it something that, you know, we're making on the spot? I don't mean you have to remix everything on the spot, but everything should be mixed seamlessly. It shouldn't just be fade in, fade out. None of that BS, there's no reason for it, but yet for some reason we feel like we're the only people that get to half-ass out an event, and that's exactly what it is. It's half-assing an event. Not mixing at a wedding, in my opinion, is the equivalent of using a microwave or using uh, a cake mix for your cake. Why? No, there's no reason to it. And the thing is, is that software, whether it's Serato or Virtual DJ or Otz, whatever the hell you use, makes mixing so easy. There's not a damn reason. But yet DJs continue wanting to debate this. So I'm here to just let you know my thoughts. If you say the mixing's not important, it's probably because you're not good at mixing. If you tell me that, oh, I know how to mix, but you know, my, some of my clients prefer when I don't mix, that tells you you suck at mixing. Straight up. I mean, I've done you know events even for senior citizens at senior homes on their 90th birthday, and I'm still mixing. Now, of course, it's a different kind of mix than if I'd be mixing, let's say, at a prom, but there's still a flow, you know, even, even from a slow song to a fast song. Okay, yes, you may fade out and fade in or slam, but that's all part of the mix as long as it's congruent and makes sense. Mixing doesn't always mean beat mixing, and it's another mistake that a lot of DJs on my side of the argument say. You know, sometimes slamming is important. It can create that, ooh, wow effect, you know, where, where you're catching people by surprise. Sometimes fading in builds that suspense especially with certain genres like salsa. You don't always mix one salsa to the other unless you really know your crowd and you know what you're doing. Sometimes you gotta fade out. But when do you fade it in? You know, there, there's, there's an art to everything that we do. But you gotta you got, you got know beat mixing. I, I don't care who you are, I don't care what kind of events you do, you gotta know it to some degree. And if you tell me it's not important, yo, it's probably because you suck. And I'm not saying that to be an a-hole or anything like that. And I know that some of you lurking in the DJ forums are gonna sit there and wanna tear this video to shreds. And I, I really don't care because y'all probably can't mix either. And if that sounds arrogant, it's probable because it is. But isn't it even more arrogant to say, oh no, my clients don't, don't care if I mix. How do you know? Do you have a focus group of clients? And I ask this to everybody, 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 let me try that in English now. I ask this to everybody about every business decision they make. 
you say do you your clients don't like this or they want this but do you have a legit focus group of clients that hired you and didn't hire you because we did now we don't do it as much for weddings but I had a big focus group of brides grooms their mothers people that were involved with that decision made of honors and I asked them even the ones that didn't hire us they were still in that focus group y'all need to have one too so leave your comments down below if you don't mix why not if you do mix why are there no videos of you in action or photo or excuse me audio clips especially on mixcloud that makes it legal what's your excuse and that's all it is is an excuse thanks for tuning in